the Lord at all times. His praise should continually be in my mind. Oh, come magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his holy name together. For well, I was glad when he said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I don't know about you this morning, but I come from the day that I I'd rather do it in the presence of the Lord. Let's give God some praise this morning. Truly, God is in the house of the Lord. I said, truly, he brought us from a mighty long life. One said, I don't know where I would have been if it had not been for the Lord by my side. I don't know about you, but that's my testimony this morning. If it had not been for the Lord, I don't know where in the world I would be. Join me in prayer. Father, we are thankful once again for this opportunity to come into your presence. And Lord, we pray right now that you would be with these your people, Lord, for we come because we have no other place we can go. Uh, we've come this morning, Lord, because we realize how much we need you. We invite you in today into our hearts, Lord, that you will be in the midst of all that we're about to say in this hour. Now, Lord, bless us as only you can do it for these and all the blessings we ask and we pray in the marvelous Master's name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And the people of God say, Amen. We're going to ask the praise to give us an open selection. We're going to ask David Stevie to prepare himself for a morning prayer.
So many times, God, we say this world is this and this world is that. The world is okay. It's the people that's causing the problems. It's the people that's causing the problems. The world is okay. But the people within it, we pray for every individual that's in this world. Especially our lost family members. Those that are behind prison bars. We pray for them. Whether we visit them or not, your word will visit them. Your word is not bound. Our president will lift him up. Vice president will lift him up. Our nations, our world, even that hard hearted Putin, we have to ask you to touch his heart, touch his mind. And then, Lord, for those that are not with us physically this day, we pray for them. That you would be with them and touch them and guard, guide, and keep and protect them. We pray for our youth out of school now, probably saying they don't have anything to do and nowhere to go. Because there is something positive for them to do, and there are positive places for them to go. We pray for the perfect laborers that will be put in their paths so that they will not stray. And then God. Once again, Minister Lee, the word that you have given him, we know he will deliver it with boldness, with clarity, under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And when praying times are over, singing times are over, we thank you that over in glory land, every day will be Sunday. The Sabbath will have no end. And we thank you, and we love you in Jesus' name. Amen.
it was there, but it didn't go out on the usual channel that it was supposed to go out on. So uh, those of you that call in and heard it, you're going to hear it again probably this week. So uh, it'll never be the same. If, when I do something uh, kind of back to back, it's never really the same. Same material, same context, but uh, so bear with me. And I appreciate your prayers and your patience as we move forward to that endeavor. Amen. Our scripture reading is Genesis 31. Right. Genesis 31, 24, no, no, no. 32, 32. Genesis 32, 24, 30, 30. Okay. Genesis 32, 24 through 31. I'm trying to take a little bit of the low this one. Genesis 32, verses 24. And Jacob was left alone, and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh. And the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, Let me go for the day breaking. And he said, I will not let thee go except thou bless me. He said unto him, What is thy name? He said, Jacob. And he said, The name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince, hast thou power with God and with men, and has prevailed. And Jacob asked him and said, Tell me, I pray thee, thy name. And he said, Wherefore is it that thou dost ask after my name? And he blessed him there. And Jacob called the name of the place Peniel. For I have seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. And as he passed over Peniel, the sun rose upon him, and he halted upon his thigh. Therefore the children of Israel eat not of the sinew, which shrank, which is upon the hollow of the thigh unto this day, because it touched the hollow of Jacob's thigh and the sinew that shrank. God's word for God's people. After a selection from the crowd, we will give from the minister Lee as he came forward to bless us with the word from the Lord. This topic being wrestling with God. After a selection from the crowd, we extend our hands to the pulpit and say, Minister Lee. Minister Lee. Minister Lee. Minister Lee. Minister Lee.
instructions. Do what he called me to do. Be in this world. I will be with you always. And I will never, ever leave you. Now, why don't we wrestle with God? We wrestle with God and try to figure out just what he's called us to do. That's right. Usually when this happens, it's because we don't see how it's all going to turn out. Even if we're willing to do what God has called us to, we struggle. We still struggle with the logistics of actually accomplishing it. Now, I can't speak like other creatures. And, and I can't I can't sing like a like a Teddy Pendergrass. <laughs> but you know, I don't think that's quite right. No, I, I, I don't think that's right. I've got to do it. Yes. Sometimes God even affect us with a devastating injury. This has the effect. Of making us even more vulnerable to do His will. Yeah, all right. Forcing our faith to rest on God more fully and not ourselves. Yeah, that's right. If necessary, God will cause us to limp to increase our faith. Yeah, that's right. And just like Jim, we limp in many, many ways. That's right. Now, I don't know what your debilitating is. Yeah. Sickness is. I don't know why you're living, but you're living for something. You're living for living. It puzzles other people. All right. But you know, you don't have to tell me. You know why you're living. It may be a problem in your home. It may be a problem at your schools. Or it may be a problem on your work. But you're going to live. Yeah. And when God gets through with you, he'll give you the answer. He tells you, I will be with you. Always. Yes, yes. To answer with God, that's a metaphor to struggle with following him. An example of someone who was wrestling with God, able to do things his way. But God has obviously shown us his will. And it seems like the person is wrestling with themselves. Uh -huh. And God, but God has a plan. Right. Yeah, right. You see, Joe, Joseph, I'm sorry, Jacob then limped toward his tense reunion to Esau yeah. with a weakening body and a strengthening faith. All right. Having wrestled with God, Jacob knows his prayers to God and he saw the will of the innocent. Wow, that's right. Take note of what God did when he wrestled Jacob. Jacob began the night dreading his soul's arrival. Uh, yeah. He was full of fear and desperation. Mm -hmm. But he ended the night of struggle with God's blessings and the new faith. Yeah, that's right. All of our struggles. Yes, all of our struggles. Wow. In faith, these two. Strengthening in our faith. All right. And isn't it interesting that God did not simply speak to me in a dream as he had at other times. All right. And he reiterated his promise. God spoke comforting words. This time God addressed my fears about it. Why I need to wrestle all night. And he, it's not enough to have book knowledge. No, 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 no. It goes up. But it's not enough to have book knowledge. You need the Holy Spirit. And you need to be anointed with God's blessings. You've got to do it. God's yes. and, 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 and I realize just how it is. It's sometimes when you want God's comfort, He sends it unexpected and unwanted The results of wrestling with God changed Jacob's identity. He was no longer to be known 
as the one who wrestled with him, who received his blessings by the sister. This man who received God's blessing of rebellion and God by faith. This struggle turned out to be a profound, gracious gift of assurance that God gave me. Unlike the gift he gave, that Jesus gave people by letting people affirm his love for Jesus as many times as he might. Jacob's request, however, pleased God. And God called us to wrestle with it. For whatever reason it may be, it will always, yes, it will always be for good. Yes. All right. Now, 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 we all struggle with daily problems. But wrestling with God is a good thing. Yes. And we should consult God with all our problems. Yes, and just like Jacob and Peter, I, I am, I, I am a living testimony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Surely you can go. The Lord, you have to live both. Yeah. You see, I am. I am a living testimony. Yeah. 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 When I think about it, yeah. the Lord has kept me. And yeah. I've seen you.
here today, and you here today, and you heard the word, and you're led by the Spirit of God, and you're without church home, and those of this church are home, you can come. I let our Christian experience again at the baptism. If you're here today, if you're here today, you come from Christ and free God from sin, this is your time. Whatever you need, God's got it. He's got everything that you need. How many know you can have Because something about wrestling with God builds character, builds spiritual muscles that will help you fend off the enemy when the enemy comes against you. So don't be afraid of your wrestling. That's all part of the growing process. We thank God for that opportunity. Amen. So we be thankful that you come out today. This time we're going to have our final benediction. Let the church say amen.